Mental Health Musings, Chainsaw Man and the Pursuit of Happiness Warning, spoilers for Season 1 of the anime. In the first episode, we see Denji expressing a few simple goals and dreams to his pet devil, Pachita. And they're simple, down-to-earth goals, such as eating bread and jam with Pachita and dating a girl. Simple and down-to-earth for most, but not for Denji, who is so riddled with debt that he has to sell any organs that he can spare, follow random demeaning orders for pocket change, and of course, risking his life in the killing of devils. As we follow our protagonist through the various story arcs, we find Denji gradually experiencing the things he's been dreaming of his whole life. Three meals a day, cozy place to live, and although a little twisted, managed to kiss a girl. But can we say that Denji is truly happier than when he was chasing his dreams? The contentment and expected joy of achieving these things eludes him, and we are left to wonder why. To answer this, we first need to ask ourselves, what is happiness? Is it just a fleeting emotion that goes as quickly as it comes? Why then are so many people hell-bent on pursuing these temporary moments of joy? The Greek philosopher Aristotle explains a similar concept of happiness called eudaimonia, stating that true happiness is a goal or an end in itself, not a temporary state of being. Aristotle separates this concept from choosing to have short-term immediate pleasure and instead choosing the greater good. The greater good in this case isn't an objective good decision for the masses, but rather one of personal virtue, progress towards realizing your true self and potential. We then fast forward to the scene after Denji's had a feel of power's chest, ticking off another goal of his on his quest for happiness. In her office, Denji tells Makima how achieving this did not feel as good as he expected, and he wonders, would this feeling of futility also happen to the other goals that he is chasing? Following Denji's lament, Makima holds Denji's hand, guiding them to let him have a feel of her ears, hands, and eventually lips, where she playfully bites a completely taken aback Denji. Makima's point was that sensual things feel better when you understand your partner, and encourages Denji to do so. It is no coincidence that Aristotle identifies friendship as being one of the most important virtues in achieving true happiness. Life does not exist in a vacuum of self, and it is through interactions with people and the forming of bonds with people we care about that gives it its value. It's not just about the act of squeezing boobs, but whose boobs you're squeezing and what they mean to you. Another key concept in appreciating the idea of happiness and fulfillment is Maslow's hierarchy of needs, which tries to explain the order of what tends to motivate us to do something, ranging from basic needs to more complex ones as we go up the pyramid. For Denji, who has spent his entire life trying to satisfy his basic needs like food, shelter, and safety, there was never really any room in his mind to think about the higher needs on Maslow's hierarchy. And it's only over the course of the series as Denji gets closer to understanding power, Aki, Makima, and the rest of the devil hunters where he gradually develops into a more reflective and empathetic character, establishing his identity and values on the road to self-actualization. Like Denji, it is not uncommon for people to get stuck in the rat race and feel lost in life, unclear as to what we should be striving for, and if it would actually make us any happier when we achieve these goals. In current society, there is this external pressure to achieve certain values like wealth, fame, or power as quickly as possible, and as a result, we see lots of people struggling with the search for meaning. And fulfillment. But maybe, just maybe, true happiness lies in fulfillment of your potential, gradually realized by going on your own personal journey to being your true self. We don't know where and when the road ends, but you can never go wrong 
with making a few good friends along the way and taking them with you.